Boogie woogie woogie. Uh, let me just say. Let me just say it's not Miss Kiff merch unless you have an ice cream stain on it within one day of owning it. You're not going to be able to hear me with, with this or with that. So I'll see when it's not here. If you were just now watching this, my debut album is out now. It is called Ursa. Uh, it is nine tracks long. It features Samad Savage, Ali Rocket, Gosharu, and Babyface. Check that out. Here I am reacting to Quadeca. I also happened to release my album on my birthday, and this man, Quadeca, has stolen my birthday. I am beyond heated that this man couldn't just be my most two viewed videos on my page. He also had to steal my birthday like a chump. Can't even get his own birthday. Neither here nor there, we are here for his deluxe. I'm gonna watch the deluxe little clip that he put. I already commented on it. I don't know how many likes my comment has. This is gonna be my live reaction. <laughs> Not that it's gonna be anything large, but uh, just curious what's up with this. Um, I am forever intertwined with Quadeca for whatever reason. Obviously, I, I'm friendly and familiar with Samad, who is has a Quadeca feature on his album, Duo Liddy as well. I got 15 likes in 17 hours. God, I'm never gonna be hive mind. What am I gonna do? Uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, uh, play my album. Until then, let's watch and react and review six tracks. Please you won't be able to see me watch them. Put a full screen. Just want to make sure it's not fucked for you guys. I am paying attention. I promise. I promise you. I never like you. What I'm gathering so far is I need to visit wherever he is. I never found out. I, I don't know why I've never found out. This is nice though. This should have been like an interlude instead of just the instrumental interludes. I appreciate that he produced some, but this is doing more to like give me a break than any of those did. Maybe even an outro. But his singing is getting way better, man. He's very soothing. I haven't looked, but I'm assuming he's produced all of these as well. He has got a specific drum sound to it, if I'm not mistaken. I, it could be very off base. I don't do these a lot. That is so beautiful, man. I love old architecture as well. And it's not even old, it's just European. What do I know at all? <laughs> it would be a long interlude. This would have been a great outro, I feel like. Or maybe even an intro. That was very nice. Please don't wake me up. Uh, production was very elegant. Uh, I love the piano. It felt very aged. This is not something I could say for a lot of Quadeca's music two years ago. It's just more of the same a little bit with the deluxe, but I would have preferred that on an outro or in an interlude spot to anything that he put in those spots, to be honest, uh, especially having returned to it. Uh, I think that was really elegant and beautiful, and I wish it was on the, on the actual project, not just on the deluxe. It's cool that it's tied to this. I'm not complaining. I'm glad that it's out. You know, it doesn't matter where it goes at the end of the day. Those purple gloves were not in the fucking room. Man's got on purple latex surgical gloves. Just slunched it around a little Uh, I mean, I could see that is that is the definition of a deluxe track to me. That is that was cool, but I understand why you didn't put it on the main because it is just that it is you do the same thing but better. But I liked a little bit in the in the intro that it was a little different. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's not quite what he usually does. I'm not mad. It's on a deluxe. You know what I mean? That is that seems like a deluxe song it makes a ton of sense. Uh, something that you want tied to the album that still sounds like the album. I'm excited for these trumpets. I haven't heard quite. I could do jazz rap. I don't think on the entire project, right? I could be wrong. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. I'm gonna get a trillion comments <laughs> from people who were like, um, here's 17 times he's done jazz rap in the last 12 hours. It's okay that you got that wrong, but... <laughs> I would never have expected Quadeca to be really this capable of a, of like a R and B track. You know, this is, I was I'm waiting for rap. This is a good hook. This is a great hook. Actually, I apologize for saying this is good. This is a great hook. I don't know. If, I'm assuming there's a sample. I don't know if it was cleared, but the production is really great. 
That's not a song I would have expected Quadeca to have in his pocket. This is a perfect deluxe placement because it gets you interested in the deluxe, you know, it's something that's different. I understand why it's here. I'm surprised he just had this in his bank, you know? I don't really have any complaints. I was, I was really, I like was listening to it the entire time. Like, is Quadeca really going to carry an R&B track? And he did. Uh, that was really good. Writing was great. I mean, he, he couldn't quite do that in some spots with writing and singing. But I did not have a single issue, really. I, I was just vibing. <laughs> that was good. Dasani, uh, I'm initially hesitant. This just sounds like he's trying to make a bop. Which fair, you gotta put them on the deluxe. Initially hesitant. I don't know why. I, I mean, I'm more of a Poland Spring guy. Fucking see me. Your water is toxic. She's Dasani. Oh, you didn't want me. Mm -hmm. I just headphone music and i like the i feel like the glitch effects are way more controlled this is a good yo he's, he's got some way better writing good i've been feeling down and on my down time i've been waiting all my life oh i'm sorry i'm like li listening to it the full way through that was cool i, I didn't love dc the don's verse it was a good hook uh sebi i i had never listened to i don't think before this i didn't i didn't mind the feature but it wasn't fantastic i understand the hyper pop appeal pretty much exactly what i expected going into it no offense to it and i know that that will sometimes affect it even though i'll do it and it has potassium chloride I agree that the sony sucks mid track should be on the deluxe if you you're just trying to get rid of it. Not, not what deluxes it's are for, time. but I it's how deluxes tend to be time. utilized. Oh, I'm, I'm not like a, I'm not like an emo uh, music person. Not to say that this is inherently emo music, but it, it is. That's where he sings on that edge. You know, he's not doing it poorly. But uh, this is not a song I think I'd listen to on my own time. I I back to Earth, back up to Earth. Uh, it's probably the only one I would listen to on my own time, despite the fact that I really like the intro. Uh, that's just right now. And if they're gonna be produced at all, then even more credit to him because it's all then very well produced. He seemed to have grasped that very quickly from what he's been showing people, you know. So it must have been something that he's been working on for a long time. Uh, that was cool, and that, again, nothing I'd return to. Kind of like a mid emo poppy, because I, I, it's not pop. I don't know what a uh, emo, you know, track. It's cool that he has that in his pocket. It's just never been something I've been interested to up front, so nothing I'm returning to in the future. Bro, I don't think I've heard Quadeco rap once on this. Uh, oh, you know, I guess he did a little on Dasani, right? Which that's the narrative I'm sure he wants people to think, and you know what I mean, and that's super dope. You'd be in trap, bro. It's very 808s, but at the same time, it, no, you know what it is, very 808s. I, I was about to say at the same time, it's not, but it's very 808s. Will Quadeca ever get out of the forest? I don't know. What is he looking for? I assume he's looking for my birthday, which he stole and stashed in the woods. He's quite talented, man. Quite, he's a very talented individual. Oh, really? Dude, I, I never, I, I know, I know, I do this sometimes, obviously. But when people announce that they're making albums, <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> you know, it's like you're telling me you, uh, uh, an artist, are making an album. Also, like, what does that mean with Quadeca at this point? Because it took him so long to <laughs> to release for me to you. No offense, because I still love Ye. You know what I mean? I'm still gonna check out Ye uh, Quadeca because I'm forever uh, attached to Mans. So I get what he's getting at. Is my point? Uh, cinematic intro outro i understand why you put that in a deluxe i would have preferred them as the interludes to for me to you and to extend your album i would have been even more sh like not shocked but uh, i would have felt like it carried itself a little bit better i don't think they needed to be their own fully fledged tracks to just throw on a deluxe I feel like sometimes i made a drag back up to earth was incredible takeaways quadeca doesn't really rap anymore now but these are all cool tracks you know what i mean like even though it's not for me it's stuff that you'll be able to perform it's stuff that's cool you know what i mean it's well done it's just not for me is what it comes down to you know what i i quadeca for stealing my birthday uh, this was still quite enjoyable and i still came away from this having learned something you just had to stomp on my birthday an album release with your deluxe um we should box just kidding i am unfit I'd give the Deluxe a 
like a lukewarm six maybe hot five uh but i'm like i said i'm really only gonna probably return to back up to earth if i'm looking at it realistically but it was that's a song that i would not expect to be returning to from quadeca you should have liked my comment more but i still appreciate you guys <laughs> i'll see y'all later stream my album oh yeah that's my that's my video that's my tony vegas oh god i'm exposed